Hello, this is Faye from Faye Ray Designs, and I'm coming on today because uh, I posted a project uh, this morning on uh, Facebook, the Cricut Design Space um, area, and a number of people liked the idea, um, which is not a new idea, but um, it's just one that I came up with this morning, and it's funny how it I came up with it. I was writing out some bills to uh, mail this morning and I thought to myself, I wonder if my Cricut Explorer can address envelopes. And so, um, of course, I had to try it. So I um, went and um, to my Explorer and of course um, it does and it does it very nicely. So as I said, a number of people um, asked for a video uh, because some people learn better by seeing others actually doing it. And so I decided to um, do a, a quick uh, video to show how I address envelopes with the Cricut Explorer. So the first thing that I did was to measure my envelope. and. You may have to do that because I'm sure envelope sizes vary. And uh, let me grab one of the envelopes quick. Okay, and I'm going to move this back some. Now this is the um, larger envelope. And what I did was I took a ruler and I measured it and it measures nine and a half lengthwise and the height is about four and a half so you need to do that for your envelope measure each one and I did the same for the smaller envelope measured the length which is about six and a half and the height which is about four excuse me three and a half so, after I did that, I went into my design space. Let me move that up a little bit. And I went to the insert images. And I want, wanted to find a shape that was similar to an envelope. So I just um, went to my images because um, I don't have the subscription, so I don't have access to all the images so uh, if you don't have the subscription make sure you go to your images and then I just typed in the word shapes and did a search and so then I went through looking for a shape that was similar to what I needed because all I wanted the shape was for was to act as a template so I found one this is a rectangular shape that's on the Don Juan cartridge and so that's the shape that I used. So I brought the shape onto the canvas and I turned it uh, 90 degrees. Of course, you know, if you um, catch this handle here and move it around, it moves your image around. So I wanted that to be 90 degrees. So I brought it um, around to this shape. And then I wanted to size it to my large envelope which was nine and a half by four and a fourth. So I grabbed the corner here and I moved it until I got to the size of nine and a half. Move that up some. So I got nine, four, one, nine, five, two. And I think if you just play around with it, it if you're like nine, five, one or uh, 952 is not going to matter that much. So I did get it at nine and a half, and then I went up here to change the height, and I want that to be four and a four, which is the same as 4.25. So I brought it down until I had the 4.25, and I'm not getting that exactly and as I said it, it probably is not going to matter and so here I have a 2.4 so I'm going to there it is 4.25 so then I brought that up here click off of it 
and now I want to add my lettering so I go to my add text and the lettering that I use is the sorry lettering and I think that um, this particular font uh, can only be found on the Explorer if you got the Explorer at launch from SHN and I get I did get the Explorer at launch so um, and I've read some of the posts on Facebook and they also said that you may be able to purchase that font I'm not sure but it came with my Explorer okay so I have that selected and also you want to make sure you have the writing feature selected there and if you notice uh, you can have different um, writing styles you can do the regular the bold the bold italic or the writing and the writing one is is what I chose okay so then I type my address in the box click on the box type your address this is the return address I'm doing first and I'm just returning to um, type each line uh, I think I had the address and by the way these are not real addresses um, these are just made up addresses that I'm using uh, let's see okay and I think that was craft South Carolina that I used this morning and I'll just put some numbers in okay then you're gonna click off the box you're gonna click on what you just typed and you're gonna change the size of it to the size that you want and then you're gonna position it on the envelope or on the envelope template and I may do that a little smaller then you're gonna click off of that click off of the envelope and then you're gonna now type your sending address and you're going to hit add text again and type your other address just like you did the first one and I think that was uh, far away Maryland far away Seven, eight. Okay. One more number. Okay. So again, you're going to click off of the box, click onto what you just wrote, and size that. And then you're going to take it up to where you want it on your envelope. And um, you may want it larger, you may want it small, about the same size. And you're going to click off of that. Now, this is important you don't need the box template or the envelope template anymore so you're gonna click on the envelope and you're gonna delete it and you can either cut it or delete um, cut means the same thing as delete so I'm just gonna cut it out I don't need that so and you also want to make sure that your 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 font here is gonna write and not cut make sure that your pen is uh, selected here so I have that selected and all I'm gonna do is press go and it's gonna take me no sorry my camera gave out let's go back we don't want to go to go yet we want to highlight our writing or our address make sure you highlight it in the blue box and all you do is go to the upper left corner here um, I think that is a left click go to your upper corner left click and put the blue block box excuse me around your address and then you're gonna go down here to your layers panel and you're gonna click attach 
And the reason you do that is so that all of this writes on the one mat. Okay, now we're going to go up and press go. And as you can see um, here, it's going to write, and this house, how is is going to look on the mat. And so all you're going to do is put your envelope. Let me back up some. All you're going to do is put your envelope onto your mat. And make sure you have it adhered well. And it is going to write just like you see there on the mat. And the next thing you do is press go and you're ready to go and it's going to beautifully write on your envelope. So I hope that helps some of you to see how to do this. Like I said in the beginning, um, some of us need hands-on. Uh, we need to see it and we need to see someone actually doing it. Um, sometimes written instructions are not good enough. So I thank you all for commenting on my project. Um, and hopefully I'll have some more um, Cricut Explorer projects on my YouTube channel that you can um, view. And um, just let's all of us continue to have fun because this is really an amazing, amazing machine. Bye.